Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the All the Mods 6 mod pack from Minecraft 1.16. This is a 1.16 native mod pack, so yes, that is correct. You'll be playing in Minecraft 1.16 with the Nether update with a bunch of awesome mods. We'll be going over every single step of getting this mod pack and then getting in game and, you know, playing it for a second or two just to show you that we are fact in native 1.16 but first we have a message from our sponsor which is apex minecraft hosting go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to start an all the mod 6 server quickly and easily and play all the mod 6 with your friends it really is an incredible way to host a minecraft server the easiest the simplest and overall the best way to do it so check out apex again that's the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex getting all the mod servers set up in just a few clicks nevertheless let's go ahead and get all the mod 6 installed to do that you want to go to the second link down below that's going to take you here this is our in-depth guide for the twitch app and twitch launcher and guess what this is a twitch launcher mod pack so that means you are in fact going to need this you know launcher to install this mod pack so once you're here just scroll down and click on this download twitch button here when you click on that it's going to take you to its official website where you want to click on the download for windows button that will then take you and download in the bottom left twitch setup.exe on google chrome it'll pop up in the center of your screen on mozilla firefox you may need to keep or save this file you most likely will need to save the file on mozilla firefox but in google chrome you'll probably just download it right away now, if I minimize my browser here, here it is on my desktop. If this isn't on your desktop, no worries. This is going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that, and in here you will find Twitch Setup. You can drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and double click on Twitch Setup, and it will go ahead and open up this, where we want to click Install. And then go through and install the Twitch files and everything. You may have to click Next or go through a few more dialog boxes, but overall, that is, you know, kind of a similar process. Just click Install, then click Next, and eventually you'll land on a page that actually looks like this. It's going to be a login page, right like so. Then you'll need to log into your Twitch account, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And once you've logged into your Twitch account, you will land here. Now, if you don't have a Twitch account, you will need to create one. You must have a Twitch account to play this mod pack. And then what you want to do is click on Mods. And then once you've clicked on Mods, Minecraft won't be lit up like this. For me, it's all bright and sunny and everything like that. Yours will be grayed out here. Go ahead and find it, right? So find Minecraft in this list. And then you'll have a, a button that says Install, right? It's a purple button. It says Install. Click on that purple button. And then it will take you to this page where... You won't have any mod packs here or anything like that. It'll just say my mod packs. Now, in order to install, right, in order to install the mod 6, you want to click on browse mod packs here. Then you want to search right up here in the top left, all the mods 6, right like so. And then right here it is, all the mod 6 will appear. As you can see, this is for 1.16.3 currently. They're going to be updating it to 1.16.4 very, very soon. So as you can see, all the mod 6 there, go ahead, hover over and click on the purple install button and it will go ahead and start installing all the mod 6. It's going to take a while. It's a rather large mod pack for a 1.16 pack. So we're going to go ahead, do a quick jump cut here and we'll see you once the mod pack has been installed. Once all the mod 6 is done downloading, it'll have this purple play button appear on it. Now you can click that play button. But when you want to play it in the future, you're going to be actually launching it from the My Mod Packs tab here. So you can click on that play button or you can click on the My Mod Packs page and then click on the purple play button there. Again, moving forward, you're just going to launch it from the My Mod Packs page. Now, when you go ahead and click play, it's going to open up the Minecraft launcher, right? Like so. And you're going to have to enter in your Minecraft username or email and password here. This is the same stuff you use on Minecraft.net to log into your account and on the default Minecraft launcher because this is the default Minecraft launcher. It's just being opened up with all the Mod 6s, Mod Packs installed. Once you've logged into the launcher, right like so, you will then have in the bottom left all the mod 6, ATM 6. It should automatically be selected though. If it's not, you can go ahead and click on the little drop down box here and then select all the mod 6. If when you click on that drop down box, it's still not there. Don't freak out. Just close out of the Minecraft launcher completely and click the purple play button. This time you shouldn't need to log in, but all the mod 6 should be there this time. Now, before you hit play, let's go ahead and click on installations here. Then we're going to hover over all the mod 6, click on the three dots over here to the right and click on edit. I'm going to change your resolution, but you don't need to do that. I'm just doing it because we're making a video. What you need to do is go in the more options tab. Then right here you have XMX 3200. That's how much RAM is dedicated to all the mod six. This is going to be a pretty beefy amount of mods. So I would say that you're going to need to run at least four 1,228, if not even 6,228 megabytes of RAM or 6.2 gigabytes there. 
In this case, I'm going to go in the middle. I'm going to do 5 gigabytes of RAM, and then we're going to go ahead and click Save in the bottom right, and that's going to close out of that. Now we can go ahead and hover over all the Mod 6 and click the green Play button. By the way, you don't need to do that every time, just the first time you launch up all the Mod 6. So now we are just going to go ahead and let this launch right on up. It's going to take a minute. As you can see, it's found 190 different Mod files, which is absolutely insane. Uh, like, it's an insane amount of mods. It's getting everything set up. Expect this to take minutes to open. Not like two minutes, like five, seven, ten minutes uh, potentially to open up because it's so many mods being added into Minecraft and being, you know, kind of set up and like hooking into different things in Minecraft. It's going to take a while. You need to be prepared for that. You also need to be prepared for the fact that it's going to look like it freezes a lot. Right now, for example, it looks like it's frozen. It looks like it's not doing anything. It might even go non-responding, right? Like so, it might even go non-responding. But it's not going to crash. It's going to work. You just kind of have to sit and wait. And that's just the fact of the matter. There you go. It didn't crash. We just sat live through that. And it worked itself out. So expect that. Expect freezes. Expect glitches. Expect things like that in the loading process. But now all we can do is wait. So we're going to go ahead and wait. I'm going to do a quick jump cut. And I will see you on the Minecraft main menu. It's currently 1.07 p.m. at the time of recording this video. We're going to use that. I'll clock in with the time once this is set up. So here we are. Now, not too bad, actually, from when we jump cut. It was 107. It's now 109. Uh, so not that bad of a load up time there to get to the main menu, but still a little longer than you would normally expect when opening up Minecraft. So here we are. As you can definitely see, this is all the Mod 6. These are custom menus, everything like that. We can click on the Mods tab here and see all of the different mods that are installed. There are tons of them. If you did want to add Optifine to this, by the way, you would just down, uh, download Optifine 1.16.3. Click on the Open Mods folder button here and drag and drop it into this Mods folder. Quick little tip there if you are getting some lag. But we're going to go ahead and this is going to be, I'm guessing, a vote message. Yes, so if you can vote in the United States, you should do that 110%. Vote.gov is where you can go to do that. But we're going to go ahead and move on through that by pressing Escape and carrying on. So now if we click on Single Player. And we'll go ahead and open up to where we can create ourselves a new world. We're going to make this creative. We'll just name it Test World. And then we'll, we'll actually do all test world, what world, all the mods six. And then we can go ahead and click create new world. I will see you after a jump cut. Expect it to take a while to create the world as well, right? It might be fast on your PC, but expect it to take a while. Expect it to go non-responding like this. Expect it to do all that stuff. It's modded after all, and it's, you know, a newer version, which you're always going to have more bugs on a newer version of a modded Minecraft. So anyway, we're going to go ahead, let this load on up. And I will see you after a quick jump cut. All right, so here we are in game. We have spawned in a very custom biome here. This is going to be a, let's see here. Where are the biomes at again? It's been a minute. Uh, a BYG Zelkova Forest biome. Cool stuff. We've also got a worn notebook in our hands. We open that up, and we've got different categories. As you can see, getting started, all this stuff. I don't specifically know what mod that's going to be from. That is going to be from Ars Novia. So there's so many cool mods here. Truthfully, it is overwhelming how big this mod pack is and how much stuff is in here. 148 pages of different items and things like that that you can get listed in just enough items here. So crazy, crazy stuff. I mean, look at all that. I'm just going through it super fast. But yeah, overall, crazy, crazy mod pack. Tons and tons and tons of mods. Tons and tons and tons of features. You will never run out of stuff to do. And guess what? It is in the Nether update. So let's see. This world slash world... Does this work? No. Okay, I was wondering if uh, if you could just like teleport into the nether or if you need to actually set up a portal to do it. But I mean, all the nether biome stuff is here because this is native 1.16.3. Yep, you heard that right. It's native 1.16.3. Um, it's, it's running 100% in that version of Minecraft. So you have all the nether update stuff. Piglin Brutes, everything like that is in here. And we're going to need flint and steel as well to light this on fire and we can go to the nether and just prove that the nether has custom biomes in it and all that stuff as well as all the other awesome stuff that the nether has in 1.16.3 now it might take a while to start up here because it is a mod again as we've seen time and time again but let's see if we can we fly out of here or do i need to spectate oh so there we have gold ore in the nether right there alone just shows you that this is 1.16.3 but let's go into game mode spectator just so we can fly out of here and get to kind of a more open nether area. Well, this is a very closed off nether, but here you go. So we have this custom nether biome with crimson stem. 
all of that stuff. And um, that's proven it right there that the 1.16 update is in fact in full effect here. So nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. This is actually, that's what I figured. This is a uh, custom biome that's added to the nether outside of Minecraft. So there's even more features in the nether than what you have in vanilla Minecraft. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy all the mod 6 in Minecraft 1.16. And I am out. Peace.